YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with basically a talk video today. Y'all already know already um, about these sneakers, but me, I, I'm still excited for them, you know, that I even have them and stuff. And uh, me, I usually wait for the deal. I already know how this sneaker YouTube fast life is. You know, you got to have it early and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, the shock value is already gone. The review value is technically already gone. At this point, you better off just saying your opinion. But anyway, this is my sneaker talk video as far as like why the Jordan 3 Mocha was so monumental as far as like being released. Not, but I mean like low-key monumental. I ain't saying like everybody made a big deal about it. But um, one of the things for sure um, that I feel like it was monumental about it or low-key monumental is the fact that Jordan brand or Nike is actually listening to us as far as like bringing back certain colorways. So now as we enter this phase of um, lifestyle colorways and colorways from the early 2000s to the mid 2000s, you know, comment below which sneaker you want to uh, see get retro from that time. It can even be from like 09 or something. You know what I mean? So it don't even necessarily have to be from the early or mid 2000s. But, you know, since this actually came out in 01, you know, uh, that's why I said that as well. So uh, with this joint right here, now I never had the original, you know, I was a teenager back in like 01. I think I was, what, eighth grade damn near or about to go into ninth, something like that. Seventh, just got into eighth, something like that. But anyway, these joints, I like I haven't even wore these yet, dude. Like, cause I literally just been waiting for the right time. Blizzard outside, man. I'm on the wrong side of the United States to be trying to do on foot. So all them other sneaker heads, you know, they can do the on foots and be fine. Like Anthony, Anthony or whatever. I think he stay out in Cali, you know, the weather beautiful every damn day. And the only thing what you need is a hoodie on at the worst if it does drop in temperature, but over here, man, in Ohio, is pouring down. <laughs> Along that northeast kind of like, you know what I mean? Part of the United States and Midwest, like Chicago, Detroit, you know, that winter be hell. But anyway, back off into this. This these joints right here though, man, <clears throat> one of the things I actually, to be quite honest with you, I I'm I'm not the biggest fan of this being just like an all white like mid so. But um, me personally, I feel like this sneaker was significant because um, this is one of them sneakers that, and it was the quality is is flames, it's fuego on here too, because that nice tumble leather, got that nice Jordan 3 smell, that nice Jordan out the box smell that we like. Now, I am with other YouTubers on as far as like getting the, um, the Jordan hang tie, uh, the, the, the Jordan hang tag, um, at least a brown one, right? Or a clear one, but, um, I'll take these over the all white joints um, because obviously, you know, he had more than one color blocking. The white ones, they look okay, but I do like the Jordan, Jordan 3 a lot. Sometimes I almost feel myself budging for a white sneaker, um, but mm, I'm not the biggest fan of all white sneakers all like that, though. You know, they at least got to have another colorway to me, though, but I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. As far as with this, though, man, that nice chocolate bottom. The cocoa and, and, and all around the side is just fuego, flames, 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 man. I can't wait to rock these. And me personally, with I actually like the character more. If they actually would have made this sale, that would have worked for me. But I know the other 70% of sneaker YouTube probably would have been like, why they got to hit us with that sale, bro? Why they got to hit us with that sale colorway? Just like the chlorophyll joints. These, you know, they're going to age anyway and, and get character anyway, so it really don't matter. So, like, they're going to look stale anyway. This one of sneakers that, like, they look better with age. When you do see an 01 version of these with the character uh, shown, they look so much flames to me. Yeah, you know, white is cool. You know, I'm, I'm not going to return them just because they're white at the bottom. But I do feel like the character enhances the sneaker so when you do get like that beige like coffee cream like off-white like color cream color at the bottom i think that definitely takes this sneaker up another notch now um outside of that uh as far as colorways i want to see come back like between uh you know 
from 2000 to 09. Some I could just ramble off the top of my head. Maybe the Olive Fives that look like the undefeated colorway with the orange and green. Um, the Burgundy Fives. Uh, I'm trying to think if they came up with some more threes that I like from back then. Um, I, I, I really, you know, I'm not really the biggest fan of the powder blue threes, but I do like those. They kind of grew on me. The, the do the right thing Jordan threes with the yellow right there and the sky blue at the top on the upper. Those look fly. Um, and man, if, if they gonna retro them in like supreme quality like this. Damn. And you know, uh, another Retro Plus colorway that came back that too much people ain't really harp on all like that was those 13s um, with the green bottom. So y'all already know what I'm talking about. And that was probably like damn near almost two years ago since they first released. Well, since they re-retroed again from since the last time they uh, retro. Um, but I can't really think of anything else that came out that's a Retro I can't really think of anything else that came out that's a Retro Plus colorway that re-released already. You know, the OG colorways get released every few years. You know, you've been unhad. <laughs> Look, man. A Anthony dropped a video the, uh, uh, the, the, the other day about, um, and I got a video on it too. Mine like 17 minutes long, but his like three minutes long. So you probably go watch his first. Cause I'm literally, you know, a 30 minute episode out here. <laughs> but anyway, these gonna come out again. You know what I mean? So I know they're gonna retro these again. Now Maz is in perfect condition. Now when they do, of course, I'm gonna be drooling over the fact that it has the Nike Air on the back. And hell, maybe even the quality on, on these, on, the, on that version might actually be slightly better. But now with the, now if they do it like the True Blue Threes, a lot of people saying, the 2016 Nike Air True Blue Threes are similar to the 2011 True Blue Threes. I still have yet to cop the 2011 Nike Air on the back True Blue Threes, but I do want to put them in my archives because for the set, for the simple fact that they're OG. But I have a lot more memories in my 2011 True Blue Threes. So as memories build with these sneakers, I do feel like yeah, we get the Nike Air on the back, but the Jumpman was still whole uh will be a slight time capsule for us that um got the sneaker back when they actually released a few years ago um and you know i feel like it makes each sneaker that alone makes each sneaker unique to its time and to that place so you know maybe something good or bad happened to you in the 2011 black cements with the jump man on the back and you remember that time where you know, I'm quite sure if I get the 01 Mocha 3s, there's going to be something on there. Even though they look identical, I bet you there's going to be something on there that looks slightly different. That makes it different between the 2018 Mocha uh, 3s and the 2001 Mocha 3s. 17 years later. That's crazy, though, man. When I see these, though, man, I always joke. Every, every time I always get a latte or a cappuccino, I always joke about wearing Mocha 3s or Mocha, you know what I mean? Starbucks in it up. And last but not least, before I head up out of here, I don't want to be too long though. Um, even though the quality is great on these joints, it's not really anything I dislike about this sneaker because, you know, it's it, it's subtle. Um, you no, know, y'all know me, man. I'm quick to lace swap. It had like the lime green and the and the and the bright pink or the the swoosh or whatever them kicks that pop. But also at the same time, while you do have those kicks that pop. You also need nice subtle kicks as well. That's that's that can float with the casual scene that you might be going to. You know what I mean? You don't want to get have all loud sneakers. You know what I mean? Loud sneakers cool, but these are still works of art. Not every piece of art is loud. You know, not every piece of art is just Picasso. Wow, loud. Some of it is you you know a little bit more colorful like Monet, but a little bit more settled down and calm like. You know what I mean? So I don't know any more artists that I, so I can think of right now. But anyway, so to round this talk off and up and up out of here, y'all chime down below as well as far as the topics I uh, commented on, <clears throat> um, the topics I uh, mentioned in this video. The It's nice to see that Jordan brand. This is low-key monumental because 
Jordan Brand actually brought back a Retro Plus colorway. <clears throat> this is low-key monumental because Jordan, uh, Jordan Brand actually did this, did this right. <laughs> The True Blue 3 wasn't even like this comfortable, like as far as, that's why I say quality matter. Um, because when you actually put your foot in something that actually has a lot of more craftsmanship on it, like it feels more comfortable and it feels like you can walk in them forever and they last forever. You know, some sneakers that's real hard, um, sometimes they never break in, but most of the time they will. And when you first put a sneaker on, especially after paying over $150, $190, even over $100, you don't want to feel that hard um, inside because of the materials being all hard. But with this, this is not like that. This is definitely fly flames and a comfort, comfortable village, uh, comfort is there. So um, that's it for my talk today. Only only colorways coming out. I don't think they're gonna drop the Mocha Threes anymore. But only other colorways we know for sure are gonna come back out. Oh geez. What we gonna do? Y'all leave y'all comments below. Also, what uh colorways from 2000 to 09 or hell even 2012 do you guys want? Um, that's not an OG colorway that y'all want the uh, retro again. Any retro plus colorways y'all want to come back out again? Any more lifestyle colorways y'all want the retro again? That's it. That's my talk today. Peace.